Hello and welcome to Coffee Milk. I'm Mark Laporte. And I'm Mitch DiPaolo. What's going on, Chief? How was your week? My week was pretty interesting. It started out uh, really stressful. I thought that I missed my exam in macroeconomics. Why do you think? Yeah, so on Monday, I kind of was going through my homework for the week, figuring out what I had to do, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I just missed my exam last week. I was thinking about it for like an hour straight, and I was like, you know what? All right, this is stopping me from doing things. I'm just dwelling on this. I'm just going to keep going and hope that... In the mess of last week, I just actually took it and forgot that I took it. I found out that that wasn't the case <laughs> on Thursday when I checked my grade and saw that, oh, yeah, I got a zero. Zero out of 15 on the exam, and it bumped my grade down from, I think it bumped it down to basically like uh, a 50 in the class. So, so yeah, it bumped me down to like a 15 out of 30 when I was originally at like... I don't know, something that equated to like 80%. I was somewhere around an 80 in the class. Right. And yeah, oh my gosh, that just that just killed me. But yeah, I kept doing my work and I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna work through it. I'm just gonna hope for the best. And on Thursday when I figured out I had the grade, it I was just like, oh man. So I sent the teacher an email saying that I was I deeply regretted that I forgot it and I don't know how I forgot it and whatnot. Like I said, yeah, I know I have a moral responsibility to figure out all my assignments and stuff. And I sent him that email, and then I, I checked back an hour later, and I got a response saying, Oh, no worries. Uh, one of the exams is going to be dropped. The lowest grade will be dropped, so you don't have to worry about missing exam three. And oh my gosh, that was like the biggest weight off of my shoulder. Thank you, God. Yeah. Thanks. I, I was literally like crazy God. <laughs> after that. I was like looking up to the sky. I was like, thank you. <laughs> what but, God. But uh, yeah, that, that was a... Uh, that was a roller coaster ride I had this. Week. Oh, because you do your tests online. Yes, yes. Oh, so it had to have been in by Thursday. Yeah, in this class, it's weird. Usually, like you have, the the teacher will post something every week where you can go into the weekly folder and see what you have to do. Uh, but our weekly folder is in a syllabus that you have to download at the beginning of the class. So it's like I always have to go back to that like syllabus. Like I have it on my desktop, but it's not like all the other classes where it's just like you can in. log in and yeah. But I did look at the syllabus at the beginning of the week, but I think because I was so stressed out because of the exam, my brain just erased it because I also had a math exam and a financial accounting exam too. All on that day? All on that week. Oh god. Yeah, so this was so we studied surprised. for the math, study for the financial accounting, and I totally forgot about the economics. This was last week. Last week. Yeah, oh, that hurt. Not fun. I do like economics, though. It is. It is interesting. I was. He left me a quote at the email. Um, at the end of the email, it said, get in trouble or get in, get in good trouble or something. And I forget who it was by. I like that. By something, get in trouble, the good type, a good type of trouble. I don't know what it was, but I meant to look it up and just forgot to. I could check the check for it now and figure it out, but I'm gonna use that this week in the uh, in the newsletter for my weekly uh, weekly quote. I like that. Yeah. Oh, you've been doing weekly quotes now. Yeah. Yeah. I always put the weekly quote. I did a good one from uh, Marcus Aurelius in the end of last week's episode, and then the week before that was a joke. So you never know what's going to come on the end of the episode. Yeah, I got to switch it up because I always have that week uh, that that uh, list of like weekly tools and weekly weekly quote. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but I I want to switch it up. We got maybe maybe we'll do. Uh, I got to throw the weekly uh, poop joke back in or like poop fact, you like know, how ancient toilets work. Okay, you know what's funny is there's. When I got into Amazon KDP, it was basically because somebody was talking about uh, KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, published books, whatever. Um, yeah. But one was person was talking tactic. about um, calendars and how this one calendar made, oh, I want to say it was probably close to a million dollars. Oh. And it was called Pooping Pooches. Oh, man. Every month was just a different dog, dog. pooping. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and the thing sold like wildfire, so I, I keep thinking. Dogs pooping out of gallop. If, if you just had one picture of maybe you have a dog pooping, poop and pooch, <laughs> you know, right at the bottom of your uh, news. Pooch of the week. <laughs> People. Okay. Everybody All right. There you go. That, I'm going to add that. And, so. It'll replace the AI image of the week. <laughs> she just keeps switching it out. Everybody yeah. Just yeah. like do the AI image. Oh, next one. Oh, I can just do a pooping pooch of the week generated by AI. Oh, shit. Yeah. Literally. That's a good one. Yeah, but 
uh, now that you mentioned Amazon, I uh, I was messing around with Kendama facts a little bit because you we heard about the new Google update. Yeah, yep. And yeah, they're just like, oh, it doesn't matter what type of content you have anymore, basically. Yep. You can just post whatever you want. It's going to rank on Google. So they came clean yep. about how it works. So I checked my site, and my rankings definitely went up. No shits never look like that, but... That is also thanks to you because yeah, you're you're just incredible. I don't know how you fixed that. Oh, oh. A while back. Yeah. Yeah, my site was it wasn't even working. Couldn't even go on it. Um, but yeah, I checked my rankings. They were they were pretty good, and that led me to write a couple posts, and I got a little bit more ambitious, and I thought that I was gonna make a whole Amazon roundup review. Um, uh, but I didn't do that. I just kind of signed up for the Amazon affiliate uh that's program. Outstanding. Got that signed up it's actually pretty simple you just find a product you enter your id or whatever and you generate your link and then yeah, you just add top. that yep. in your post yep. yeah and then if they click on it you get i thought it was i thought it was more complicated i thought you would need like cookies on your website or oh something. no like, no it's, it's just the, literally clicking on it is the cookie yep. because your link is yep. personalized yeah that's pretty cool you get uh you don't get much from amazon but i mean even at the shop, we'll probably make it a hundred or two hundred dollars a month. And it's like, oh, for doing nothing. Yeah. And these people are really just going through our YouTube videos yeah. to that. Yeah, oh. that's great. I, I, so oh, actually, so you're already signed up for Amazon affiliates. Yeah, I signed up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm taking. You're gonna find the link for Naval Jelly. You're gonna give me the Amazon link. I'm putting it in the Russ 911 video on YouTube, on the on our. Because it's the most watched video I have ever put up on YouTube. Full jelly? What is that? It's a rust salute. It gets rid of rust. Like, really deep pitted rust. So if you have an old 50s car that's been sitting in a barn or something, huh. that whole front fender is just gone. Yeah, you could put this naval... Is it like a really old product? Like an old naval school jelly, thing it, that's been around for a while? Yeah, it's been around for a long time. Maybe 50, 60 years. But yeah, thing so works old. beautifully. If you can't dip your your um, piece of metal in, then the best thing to do, the next best thing, is navel jelly. But by putting that link in, because you have, I think, 180 days to make three sales on Amazon, or they kind of like just close your account. Oh. You can sign up again as an affiliate. Oh, you might have to wait like 90 days because that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I just didn't push my stuff that much. So I figured if we put your link right in that YouTube video, we do about 5,000 views a day on that freaking video and it drives me insane because some of the- Why don't you put your link on it? Don't you have an affiliate? Well, no, because I'm still waiting the 90 days. I th Actually, I, I could probably sign up again now. Because I only made two sales in 180 days, not three. Oh, I was man. like, this is bullshit. That is annoying. But it, it's a nice thing to have because you saw how easy it is. It's sign up. Sign up and here's how yeah. it looks. Yeah. And you click your here and here's your link. Yeah. And what, what's that? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that was the easiest part. What stopped me was actually uh, getting, finding products that I wanted to recommend. Right. And then uh, putting them in a, in a letter. I was actually, I was going to say like, oh, I was, just screw it and just like grab random stuff and say here are the 10 best kandamas and like kind of you know just oh, get an article I... out there but i didn't and it's about to get really easily easier to do that have you tried um koala rider no koala rider is insane apparently it is uh it is built on top of uh gpt4 and like gpt 3.5 like just the regular open ai chat gpt so it works on top of that. I was just checking it out because I also wrote a post on it for, for Coffee Milk. I wrote a little post and I was checking out their website and I saw that they have an Amazon Roundup Review Maker. No. Yeah. And oh, guess awesome. what? You put, in your, you put in your Amazon ID and it, it writes the whole thing for you. <laughs> yeah. Shit. With the, it, it picks the products too. You could even have it pick random ones. You just say Kendamas. It picked me a random Kendama. Yeah. Now, you know, the beautiful thing about that link is if, say, I'm reading your thing, I see it's a Kandama. I'm like, well, let me take a look at the Kandama. I click it. I don't like the Kandama, but I search for, it's like, oh, shit, I need to buy this, this, and this on Amazon. So I do my search. I buy a TV or something. You still get credit what? for the purchase of oh, that TV. Oh, no, you just blew my mind. I because didn't you're using your cookie to get on the Amazon. So anything they buy, it, it gets credit to you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because wow. I learned that. All right. So, um, I just want to explain cookies real quick. I don't really understand cookies. It, it just, it just remembers what you liked. Yeah. People go to our website. We got cookies. They know, okay, well, you like shrinking discs. So anytime you click the search bar, it's like, well, there are the shrinking discs and there are certain things. It just, it, it's a more personalized experience for you. 
and you're just yeah. saying yes i allow it yeah most of the time i i yeah. think they're annoying as shit and i hate that pop i think it's like um 30 days they can like retain the data so like say someone comes to my post and i'm recommending kendamas in my post on amazon and they click on it but they don't buy it that day they buy it 10 days later they'll still i'll still have that person's cookie so i can prove that they got it from my website right it's you click the link anything you buy during that click yes it may be by leaving the browser up yes but i think if you close the browser and then go back to amazon and then you type in kendama or whatnot and then they click on the kendama that you had shown them you won't get credit for it they have to go directly from my page they got to go directly from your link. Yes. Okay. I'm... And not like close out the browser. Okay. I thought it was from if they go, if they click on my link and they view that and then they go back to Amazon again and purchase that same one, I thought I would still get a kickback. I don't think so. I think it's in that time. Again, unless you're like me and you leave your browser tabs open yeah. for 10 days. Well, it wouldn't be in Amazon's best interest to have it like that. No, I, well, Amazon Sun doesn't care one way or another. Yeah, because then people would be making more money. The marketers would be making more. Oh, that's why they dropped the uh, the affiliate rates anyway. Yeah. When we signed up, it was 8 to 10%. It, it was a good chunk of change that you were getting. Yeah, I feel like people have been saying for the past, what, maybe six, seven months that it's been going down. Yeah, but it's still, again, one of the easiest ways to get... Everybody uses Amazon. Yeah. So you recommend a product. It's like nobody's going to go to Walmart, Target, whatever, unless they're on their way there. They're going to go to Amazon. They're going to be like, oh, okay, yes, this is how I buy my shit. This is what I'm going to use. So yeah. even though you make a small percentage, I'll take pennies on a dollar several times a month. I and just the, just the fact that like they are rewarding you for getting a person from your site to their store, and if they buy anything, I think that makes up for the fact that they can't go back. Oh, on Amazon and buy it later because that's that's awesome. Like imagine like, yeah, it's like just just them going on Amazon to look at something they're interested in, and then realizing they need something or like wanted to get something and just remember then because you got them there. Yeah, that's that's pretty powerful. There's a lot of times where we have sold crazy big items that have nothing to do with metal shaping. <laughs> like we sold a TV and it was like 4K super whatever. It, the damn thing was two thousand dollars. Yeah, I think we made ninety dollars on that sale or a hundred dollars on that sale. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't much compared to the the price, but it's like holy shit! How did we make a hundred dollar sale? Oh wow, somebody bought a TV and it's like you got a TV in the store? Like, no way, I don't have a TV in the store. And I tried to explain it like I did to you. He doesn't get it as much. Yeah, God bless him. Well, sorry, my dog's here. I think I gotta let him out. Oh, hi, bud. Walk location. No, I, I'm very happy that you got the Amazon thing. That's why, now this is why I want to kind of create, but I don't know if you can do it that way because just like Amazon KDP, you can't have more than one account. You have more than one account, they will ban all accounts. You could never do KDP again. That's why you got to be like super, super good. You know, it's cool that we each got our own Amazon affiliate, but I would like one for coffee milk, but I'm not sure if we can do that because Amazon is finicky in the way they do stuff. But, um, yeah, no, I'll sign up for, shit, I'll do it right now. I'll re-sign up for Amazon Affiliate, and then we'll just keep on um, adding links. Yeah. Like, for the Rust video, I'll put a link for the Rust 911, and I'll use my affiliate, and then I'll right below it, I'll put uh, Ospo on it, and you can use your link. Just because... If you want, if you, if you want. Oh, why not? I have a video I'm that does 5,000 views a day. Yeah, you works for that video, and, like, that's your that content video. that's generating you those you those hits. So oh. I don't, I'm not not going to take advantage of that. I didn't work even for that video. Even though you're offering it. I did not work for that video. That video was a fluke. Ray loves to do videos that are an hour, two hours long, and it's on making a fender or something, and we go into work ridiculous detail i don't stop for anything i film the whole process and we'll edit the crap out of that and maybe get 10,000 20,000 views on that damn video but no i do a rust video and the damn thing crossed a million views you gotta do more a little bit they gotta do more oh my god but he never does it how i want him to do it i tell him exactly how i want him to do the rust video and he won't if i did it the way i did it the video would be number one it's insane but no, there's a lot of people who go to our Amazon store because of that one video. So it's like, damn straight, yeah. 
I just want to at least get our three sales so that we can stay in good graces with Amazon. Yeah, now I got to get three sales. I think I'm going to maybe buy a plan for Koala Writer or you think if I reached out to them and asked them if they could provide me with an affiliate, uh, uh, some credits to make a video on the tool? Absolutely. It doesn't hurt. I think that's the best way to do it because yeah. there's, uh, if you've seen our spam folder in Gmail, we get a couple of people every week that are saying, hey, we're from this and we'd love to, we love what Coffee Milk's doing. We'd love to help out. It's like, sure as shit, they don't know anything about us, but they got our email somehow. And so I'll, I'll, I will take a look at some of the products that they send or oh, they work for. I, mean, I guess I got to check those out. I haven't been. I always check our spam folder. Yeah, some I, good stuff. The thing with me is, I don't know why, but I've just never been an email person. Like, I guess you could just attribute that to be being lazy, but um, or I don't know. I feel like certain people they're just like, oh, my email. I gotta check my email. But like, I've never really. Yeah, I, I've been trying. I've I've definitely been checking it more. Yeah, I, oh. I've never been like, a, oh, like you know, let me go check my email. <laughs> like. <laughs> I have my phone just pop it up once a day because my yeah I have LinkedIn eleven accounts eleven Gmail accounts so it's kind of annoying it's huge. that's why I get overwhelmed I got I got the weekly poop Gmail account for the newsletter I got coffee milk I got coffee milk I got Kadama. Mitch DiPaolo for all a bunch of miscellaneous stuff I got Kadama facts I got oh man yeah too that, much that's why yeah I want all my stuff and. I think the, the alerts or notifications go out at 7. Yeah. I just, in that kind of way. I didn't know Keith was the person who made Koala Rainer. Sorry, I just saw his picture. I'm like, Keith Min. I followed him on Twitter. Oh, so you, know, you know him from, like, all the stuff he's done? Yes. I probably maybe have seen him. Yeah, you probably I don't, know him, too. The name doesn't ring a bell. Yeah. I was going to say a stupid question. I see their plan. The cheapest plan on Koala Rider is $9 a month. Yeah. It says chat GPT 4 and 3.5 plus. So yeah. you could pay nine dollars yeah. yeah. GPT four instead of having it for. 20. I I did see that and I want to look into that because. And but it's I also heard other people say it, but maybe it's not on the same level. Maybe they rate limit you in some way. Maybe they. No, it's only fifteen thousand words per month. But is that for? They have two sections. They have a chat koala chat and koala writer, and I think their koala chat is like, what we did where we kind of. Well, they probably did it a little bit better, but you kind of take the API, you just make an interface for your app right. for them to use it. And then Koala Writer, I think, is kind of built on top of GPT-4 and is more optimized for writing content okay. and Amazon Roundup reviews because you can't write the Roundup review in the in the chat section. Oh, okay. It's a different section. Yeah, it says 250 messages per month for Koala Chat, 15,000 okay. words for Koala Writer. So it's messages per month. I see. And that's um, hundred fifty per month. Yeah. Oh, y'all cross that in no sec, no time. This week I went nuts with GPT four because since we talked about it last Friday with Google dropping everything and you focused on your site, yeah, I focused on my old site too. Yeah. There were six pages of things that I had to do for text. That's a hundred and twenty posts. I had to go through, get the transcription, do my thing, and then put it in there. But I take the transcription now, send it to ChatGPT. I say, summarize this into the article. Here's five keywords I want you to focus on, and boom. And then I'm like, also provide the meta description too. It does everything yes. for me, so I just pause it there. slug, tags, all of it. It, it does the headings. It does a great. Yeah, I didn't want to get crazy with it. I just said, give me the summary of the article, and then give me the meta description because I want to tell it what's what I've learned was I kept on saying reiterating every message and write the article and then I'd reiterate okay now I'm going to provide you with another article this is what it's about let me know when you're ready for the transcription every time I did that that counted against the thing like you get 20 messages every 30 minutes or three hours or something I was like shit so I tried to give it one instruction and then say okay after the, every article you complete I'm going to send you another Another one automatically no information it's going to have title transcription you know yeah. what to do yeah after three or four times it would it, it would do something else exactly yes. so they have to reiterate and i'm just trying to limit the amount of times i have oh, to talk to and, it and that's the one thing and that's the one thing that's holding it back if that's the one thing i mean it's a small thing because i, I yeah it's, it's like the context length there's something like that it's retention context retention i don't know 
that's like scary because like if it did have that and think about it like that's just the reason why that's not happening is because OpenAI can't do that. They can't save all of that yeah. for that many people. Right. Like, they will be able to soon, or maybe they, they can easily, and they just don't want to do it. Because once you do, that machine, it becomes... Well, plus it's it, also, it starts its life. Like, and it's an it, insane amount of data. Yeah, but, like, that is that is, like, literally opening up a Pandora's box because like it's too never cool. before have you had a machine that can just like literally learn and then go back to what it's learned and not like not like learn just take t- like tidbits take everything up no, this is all this is again it's a whole shift in everything and people who are used to get i just gotta ask why every time i'm at the metal shop i I ask people have you heard of chat gpt have you heard of the ai tools have you used any of them yeah no it's like no we're all just squawkers to them it's insane i mean i guess we are we talk about it in every episode but it's like it's almost like you're preaching it's like you're preaching you know the good word but instead we're preaching ai yeah but it's a fundamental shift you people need to realize and it's a pain yeah. box it's already done yeah there could be a massive pushback and people will see that like it's actually taking like it's it's taking over people's capability to do things right not taking it over but it's just replacing it yes so easily so that is going to cause some issues but oh my gosh never have i been i say this again but like like sending the email to my teacher like I used to like because I hate writing and I just I get so like worked up and I just block myself up and it's hard for me to just break through all that and write something like when I have to do something now like an email oh my gosh it's just done and it is perfect and I'm like wow oh my gosh this is great like but yeah I guess in the long run that's gonna maybe decrease what I'm able to do on my own no, I Which think, is scary. I think it's think about. I think it increases everything because you're because then I'm productive. reading good writing and I'm now productive. But I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I guess. But if you didn't do this podcast, we didn't do it this year, and say maybe we're going to decide to do it in July. All the AI tools that we've been using now, do you think you would have been using? Yeah, probably not. If I if if you didn't tell me about content sites. What really started it was for me, what for me was, was watching The Social Dilemma and kind of having that, having my brain blow up on, on, on what's going on behind the curtain of a, of a device. <laughs> but if you didn't, if I didn't watch that, have the understanding of it, and then, and then you tell me about content sites, yeah, I don't think I ever would have, ever would have done this. So like, yeah, content sites and like doing the podcast, definitely, definitely, uh, push me to use all those tools I, I definitely wouldn't use them i probably would have been what, what would i have been doing i don't know but i just want to say it, it's perfect timing it, is. it was just like absolutely perfect timing oh yeah because we wait a year we're kind of behind oh yeah yeah we would be so behind i'm sure you could be really, overwhelmed yes i am today so we would definitely be overwhelmed you go on product hunt there's a hundred new ai tools every day and it's impossible to keep up you have an idea boom it's already taken for an ai tool it's yeah. it's nuts oh, yeah you can compete with them i tried one ai tool i signed up for i didn't like that they didn't have a free trial not a fan it seems like it does good outlines but so I tried using that on my website because I was kind of hoping I'd get a bump in traffic. And I also turned off comments on my site. So I think that's going to decrease my traffic because... The comments are so annoying. I get Russian bots. Me the too. Time. I get, yep, I get all walks of the world commenting on my website, even though it's about the wooden toys. Like, oh my goodness. Yes, I get shit for Cialis and all kinds of stuff. But now I've noticed that my traffic has kind of decreased, even though I did 120 posts and made them, I made them pretty good. You did 120, or you like updated them? I updated them because yeah. there's nothing there. It was just well, it like was how I it was it blank was... with the video there. Yes. Yeah, you kind of you kind of black hatted a little bit in the beginning. <laughs> you were like, oh, I'm just gonna. Which I guess it did work. I mean, you got on a Zoic and you got money fast. And did not, oh, not a lot of it, but I mean, you got. Well, I'm making twenty. You got third fast. I'm making thirty bucks a month, and that at the end of the year is three hundred and sixty dollars. It cost me two hundred and something dollars with all my domains I have now and the hosting plan. So technically, the one content site 
pays for everything. Yeah. So I really like that. Plus, I still got to sell two domains. I want to. I want to sell two domains. Yeah. And now everything else uh, is just like, yeah. It's just adding on. It's yes. Throw. Yep. And um, yeah, the domain thing. I I have a domain. Um, do you think domains with hyphens in them are bad? I'm a purist when it comes to domains. Yes. I don't like numbers. I don't do like you... hyphens. Okay, but do you think that would? I don't think it's going spectrum stop it from selling if it's a mm. like I have AI dash text gen. Like do you think someone could possibly want that? Yeah, I don't I don't see why not. But I mean there are other ones like it, so I don't know. I thought that could maybe be something in like, you know, twenty years when they're all, all those AI text gen domains are taken, like maybe they can steal mine, you know, because it's a dot com. It it might. It very well might. I'm just one of those guys I I hate dashes. I'm I'm a I don't like it either, and that's that's kind of why I asked. You know? <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah, but even if you, it doesn't hurt to even just list it. Put it on Flippa. Put it on Dan.com, which is a very weird website. Dan.com. Yeah, it's kind of like Flippa. I believe they just sell domains. That's where I was going to list my stuff. I do not like the layout. It doesn't make anything easy to find because I want a page with all the listings. I don't want to have to search for a domain that I like and then hope somebody something selling it or selling something similar to it. it it's very, it's not user friendly, but it, do, it does seem like they do get a good amount of sales for domains per month. So. I want to try it. I think that's the one thing I want to focus on this week. Okay. Even though it probably takes 10 minutes, it's like Sam signing up for Amazon affiliates. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, as long as you just, uh, as long as you keep, you do something every, every day, no matter what it is, just get something done. That's what I've been trying to do. Like the other day, I just went on, you know, updated posts on Kendama Facts, and I was like, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to do this, and that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to get too stressed out. If I could be doing something better, I'm just going to try and make a den every day. That's it. That's exactly what I did. Some days it'll be big. Some days it'll be small. Yeah, but, but you're doing something every day. Yeah. Which is more than I can say for 90% of the people. Hope. Talk is cheap. No, good for you. Yeah. The, yeah, the AI tools, they, they are just, they are insane. This guy's got five chromic. I freaking hate Twitter right now. Twitter is... Yeah, Twitter is like, I, I feel like they almost made the algorithm like too good. If oh. you get interested in something, that's all you get. It's like all I get is GPT three prompts and how to make a million dollars with this. But it's like Ooh. I don't, I don't get it. You got every asshole saying, "Oh, Chat GPT is hard because you're not using the right prompts." Follow me, retweet, and comment, send, and I will send you a list of a thousand prompts. Every asshole on here has something like that. Like, I'm just scrolling down, and that's all I say. Like and subscribe. Oh, my God. Yeah. I wrote a 55-page case study breaking down exactly how I went to from zero to five million five years. I'm giving it away for free. It's a hell of a, it's a, hell of a hack. It is. It, re it really is, but it gets annoying. Sorry, now I saw an ad, and it looked kind of cool for a, a beard shaver. Yeah, I tried to make one of those, and I got, like, no engagement, so I think that's literally all you have to do is that, because you'll just constantly attract people who, like, want to accumulate stuff rather than... Because I am that person. Yeah. I am that person. But... Holy shit. So what? Yeah. No, you actually do the shit, though. <laughs> yeah, but I do accumulate a lot of stuff. But you, but you do a lot of shit. Yeah, but everything that I accumulated is from the sticks I haven't done yet. I haven't even well, it's looked. easier to accumulate because yeah. you're just getting it, but yeah. you actually still do the shit. Like, oh. there's a difference. Thanks, there. bud. You make me feel a little bit better. Okay. Except the newsletter. Yeah. It's um. Done. Oh, I still haven't done the newsletter. It's been two weeks. My newsletter? Coffee, milk, press? I haven't done it. I was trying to do it as I was doing the podcast, but then I didn't yeah. like what I was getting, and I was like, how do I want to do it? So I just, I really need you to sit down with me for maybe 10 minutes, just so I can, just so I could see it again. Yeah, once I saw something once, I am fantastic. Okay. Uh, the, the welcome letter is so much easier. It was two paragraphs. This is what we're doing. This is what we're about. This is what I hope to accomplish. But you GPT-3, like you, it keeps getting messed up. It doesn't like know what you want or yes. it keeps forgetting what you want. It's not. Halfway through. And then I'm key. I, that is the biggest issue, I would say. I mean, it's a, okay, sure. It's a big issue. But again, what you're getting 
for what it is, it, it's, it's insane. out of this world. It's insane. Once, it, once you don't have to keep it on track anymore and it keeps itself on track. Yeah, it takes about three times for that. Uh, you got about three three prompts to give it yeah. before it starts forgetting and going on its own little way. It's like a, a, almost like a teenager. Yeah. The other day uh, when I was making an article for Kendama Facts, it generated a full table of contents in the beginning. And I think that was really useful because all I had to do was hit, okay, make the article, and then it would make it, but it would stop halfway through. And then if you just type continue, literally just continue, it will continue until it's done. And you'll have to can type type continue a few times. But man, it pumped out a really good article when I did that. No kidding. Yeah, it went, it was like, yeah, it was really good. Did you index it? Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, uh, God bless you, man. That's a good one. No, Google does that on its own. I can wait four months. months for it to go through the queue. That's what I'm kind of worried about because I, uh, I'm updating posts from the last practically three months and Google's already indexed it. And I don't know how long before Google's going to index it again with all the uh with the actual articles because i'm i mean i had seeing up the bump i wish there was a better way to see like what is indexed what is not indexed what was requested for indexing recently and what wasn't I wish because that stresses me out to the max yeah you get crazy over that stuff i don't care i just see like okay well you got 500 articles but then you can only index 10 things a day yes so then it's like oh well i updated these but i index happened half the things i just indexed i didn't even need to it's difficult i got 120 posts yeah i know what you meant yeah how about that uh it took I want to say it took three days with chat gpt and that because you're only allowed the 20 messages it was kind of pay the ass, yeah. But it did produce some great content. I mean, I had to tweak a whole bunch of it, but it was uh, it was beautiful. I just added some keywords because it didn't really get what I wanted in a couple of them. Yeah, I'm excited to see over the next couple of months if Google kind of allows me to pick up traffic. I think I'm having a problem with the Zoic. I think they're a problem right now. I, it was on Twitter last what, week. Everybody was hating. What's them, wrong so with it? I don't know if people got paid out this past month. Oh, man, because of that that I, mishap I, they had. That was in December. We we're in freaking April right now. With the gold? Yeah. Uh, no, no, the gold was a whole separate story. That was a heist on gold. No, 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 no. The $9 million. Yeah, the, the heist from his own. Oh, that that gold, yes. Because we had the two things that they, I didn't realize they were, they were both about, about gold. gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. No, I, it might have been about that. Because I, but I got checks the last three months. I haven't cashed them. They're still hanging on my fridge. Like, I legit haven't cashed the checks. I'm stupid. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Because it takes too much to sign the back with my name. Oh, and take a picture of it. It really is. It's just too much. I Like, is it worth it for a hundred dollars? No, let them expire. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm totally going to do it. <laughs> but I just keep forgetting until I what? look at it while I'm sitting here doing the podcast. Yeah, I do the same thing sometimes. Oh, is this on the show? I listened to it. Yeah. <laughs> I left that in the beginning. I, I listened to it in the beginning. When I was editing that, my cousin and his girlfriend was here. Uh, so they were here. Oh, we're watching the Boston Bruins game. <laughs> and I had put that in the beginning and then I was playing it and they heard that. I, I think Jay kind of choked on his Gatorade, so I was like, Oh, that's a that's a gold. We're keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could start a conspiracy theory podcast, but it's not good for my mental health. Holy shit. I wish we had a community because I think we would have gotten a lot of good comments on yeah. that one. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's the thing. We just need to. We need our. We need our community. We need a community. Like, yeah. Like that's all we're trying to do. Still didn't talk a lot about like making money and stuff. But to be completely honest, I mean, I came into this with the mindset of making money. I mean, like you told me about content sites and just make in like the internet and content in general and like how it generates revenue and that is what originally got me into this field. But in doing it and in trying to just do it for the money. I've realized that that is the complete wrong way to go about it. Yep. And I've been trying to like reshape like the way that I approach it because if I approach it with more of a mindset of, hey, who can I meet today? Who can I learn from today? Or how can I spread my knowledge today? Like, I'm going to go a lot further. Uh, agree. So it's like, yeah. If you're listening to this right now, leave a comment. 
or something or just like just anything like i want i i just I want one. to yeah like reach out to anyone answer any questions that i can if you if you're confused by something definitely reach out I chances are we're confused by the same thing or yeah have been we've yeah. done it that's so, all yeah i i agree i just want somebody to be like Hey, I actually like what you're doing, or it's pretty good. Other than my mother. Hi, Mom, I love you, and hope you're having a good bike ride. <laughs> yeah. But that's all I ask for. If I see just one person, just say, it would make me happier. Yeah. And that's what kills me, because none of my friends really listen. I got a couple of guys that work that listen. I appreciate that. But yeah. I like the three people. Yeah. Sorry. I was talking to my mom the other day, and she was out at dinner, uh, with their friends, and I was I was doing homework, and she comes home, and she was talking about how she mentioned the podcast, which is great. She always tries to uh, she always tries to mention it to her friends, which is awesome. But she she was talking about it, and she was like, "Well, whenever they come home and they've talked to someone about it, they're always asking me like, wait, how do you get to it again? What is it called? How do you listen to it?'" And I'm like, "Mom, it's coffee milk. That's all you gotta do. What do you do when you have a question?" You go to Google and you type it in. All you gotta do is yeah. Google coffee milk and it should come up. I mean, just tell them, go to the coffee milk co- dot co site or, you know, anything. If you search coffee milk podcast, I bet it comes up by now. It does. It does. It literally does. It comes up first with Apple, Ayusha, and, and something else. Because there is no other coffee milk podcast that's posted this many episodes yeah absolutely. they've all they've all given up we've 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 killed our competitors wow it's funny first one is coffee milk on apple podcast the second one is road rash yes yes coffee they mean an episode apple. about coffee milk and so probably because they have more authority than us so they oh yeah but they're they're right below and it's actually like an indented search so it's through apple podcast we should actually get them on like hey you tried coffee milk we're called coffee milk that's a good idea i just want to Sorry, I, I'm I want to get someone big on because once we get someone big, that I don't know. Like, I want to make a connection with someone who's like, who has a community in the space. So, like, I don't know. I want to get moving. You know, I want a community. I want more. Uh, yeah, no, because the interviews are fantastic. Editing kind of sucks, but I, I really enjoy, uh, like you said, meeting people. That's the whole fun of this thing. Yeah, I don't. I still don't know where we're going with this. That's the problem. I think we have a fantastic age gap between us, and there's something there. I just don't know how to do it. But I, I do like just chilling and talking yeah. about all the crazy shit that we're trying. Yeah. And some of it's working, which makes me excited. I still haven't done a YouTube video. Oh, oh, uh, another thing I figured out this week. We got it. I am going to apply at a... Okay, so you know how uh, you go to any city today and there's those spin bikes around or scooters that you can scan with your phone and then you pay and you can ride it around for however long you want to ride it and then you just pay when you get off, right? Right. So I want to go to one of those those hubs in Providence or whatever near me and ask for a job because I, I just love tinkering with electronics and stuff. If I could get a job just taking them apart or doing small repairs on them, if they if they do that... That I, I would be, like, in my glory. Okay, here's a stupid idea. Like, I understand going down there and doing that, but what about the guy at the baseball field with the tractors and the snowblowers and the, uh, uh, you know. Fork in there? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. But No, because it's not as electronic-y. It's well, just... no, I do like that stuff. I like fixing anything mechanical. I don't know if he's hiring. He might have, like, five guys there. I, I don't know, but I was just thinking, I mean, that guy's pretty close. Yeah. Be some things in town. Yeah, I do enjoy figuring out what's wrong with the engines, and then it's usually just the carburetor, so. Yeah, or the air filter. <laughs> I didn't even realize I think my generator had an air filter, <laughs> and my neighbor come over, it's like, holy shit, that thing, <laughs> that thing's flogged. I was like, oh, okay, well, why don't you just take it out? I don't think I need that. <laughs> Sucking in that dust now, I don't need I don't. I haven't used the. Okay, I'm not even gonna say that. It's just like saying I didn't use the snowblower last year, and then you get a big blizzard. Sorry. Speaking of which, you texted me on the damn day that the solar storm happened, and we were gonna have the northern lights in Rhode Island. Now, every time that's happened, it's been cloudy days. Yeah. But no. If you went to the causeway, right down the road, 
there was a perfect view of it. Yeah. I saw the pictures on the city yeah. Facebook. Oh my page. gosh. I was over the reservoir. I am so depressed. Me too. Me too. I, I stayed up the other night too, like the night after Jeez. Monday, and I tried to look for it. I couldn't see it. No. The cause. I would have drove down to Narragansett to see that. Absolutely, it was beautiful. Yes. Beach. Did you see the picture on the beach? No. Well, I saw it. On... Oh my gosh! It was like the. It was like a painting. Like the sky, like met with the, with the horizon I just... on the water, and it was all colored. Like it was. It was beautiful. I can't. I'm so upset about that. The only thing I want to see before I die is the Aurora Borealis. And we finally had the chance, and there was one spot in this freaking town that didn't have clouds, and I didn't think to go there. And I think you really need that, like, elongated view to see it. You can't see it here. You got trees everywhere. Yeah, you got trees around you. All right, you might have been able to go to the farm down the road and see it, but... The I never thought about it. So next time we have a, a astronomical event, <laughs> we're going to the causeway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if you can park there anymore. Before 2000... Yeah, you can park on the side of the road and people will drive by. But you were allowed to walk all back there. Like, it was never gated. You could have picnics in the well, field. Well, yeah, now they're just all upset about people fishing. Like, really? Like... Oh, yeah. They people do go back there and leave trash, which is ridiculous. Like, oh, those people are assholes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those people are ridiculous. But we just had the earth cleanup day last weekend. Oh, my. Yeah. And then you, you look down the road again, and there's still yeah. McDonald's or beer cans. But guess what? Just a drive to uh, Connecticut this morning. There's a guy. Saw him the other day, too. Picking up trash on the side of the road on his bike. He drives his bike up and down the sides of the main road. I'm talking, like... People were going 60, pushing 70 down this road. And he, this, probably like 80 years old, on his, I think it's a little electric bike. And he's got like all milk crates on the side of it. He just picks up shit on the side of the road. I know that. And I wanted to stop and say, hey man, we need more people like you in the world. Absolutely. But I, I kind of couldn't, because, you know. Yeah, I, people were going 60. Yeah. <laughs> you don't really want to stop. Bless that guy, but. Yeah, he's the hero of the week. You know him? You uh, Do you talk to him? No, no, I, I don't know him, know him, but see, I see him all yeah. the time. Yep. Yeah, and Dad 101 most of the time. Yeah. I don't know where he goes. Yeah, I don't know. Pisses me off. That and Jerry Springer died. Do you know I Jerry Springer? About that, yeah, yeah. The t Have you ever seen that show? Talk show? Yes. Who? He does debates, right? Like, kind of like... Uh, I don't know Some... what he did recently, but he had the Jerry Springer show, and it was just a shit show of craziness. It was like... I married my sister cousin and we got three kids, but she's cheating on me. And then, like, his other cousin would come out from behind the stage oh, and, and they then they catch the DNA. Like... Well, yeah, it was like Maury Povich, but oh, it was you at OC. I love those just... shows. Oh, I love those shows so much. Anytime I was, oh, uh, they're great. Homesick, yeah, that I'd be watching that right after The Price is Right. Yeah. Uh, so, God bless Jerry Springer. He brought so much drama to my life and. Okay, this TV show I actually just started watching. I was just flipping through the channels, and I happened to see uh, a quick trailer for it. It's called Jury Duty, and it's absolutely genius. It's uh, 12 or 14 people, and obviously you're sequestered for jury duty. You haven't been picked for jury duty. I hope you never get it because, oh, God, it's the most awful thing. But the greatest part, it's, it's a documentary about a case. Now, normally you're not allowed to film or anything, so I was like, well, this is unique. But then they, you, you see the text across the screen. It says, everybody in the courtroom is an actor. The judge is an actor, everybody's an actor, except for one guy. So he has no idea that this is all kind of a reality television show where he's the only real person. <laughs> Why? And it's absolutely brilliant because every episode, some crazy thing happens in the case and then they have to leave for the day and they're all stuck in this like apartment building because when you're sequestered on a jury, you're, you're not allowed access to like the outside world. You, oh my God. Oh yeah, you can't have any outside influence on the case. So they don't want you talking to anybody except the people in the jury so so yeah there's an actor on there and he's like well i don't think i could be on the jury duty because i'm i'm pretty famous so the judge is like busting his balls and then he asked the real person he's like do you know what this guy is he's like yeah can you name off some movies yeah 
He's like, all right, have you watched all those movies? And the guy's like, well, no. He's like, so I don't think there's going to be a problem. No, you stay. And then there's another guy. He's like, I can't be on it because I'm racist. <laughs> and the judge is like, well, who told you that? And he points to the real guy. And the real guy is like all mortified. It's absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Highly recommend it if you have. Oh, man. It's it's 30-minute episodes. It's still going. That's got me thinking about the cherry duty. I didn't. I I thought that you kind of just got a letter in the mail, right? Yep. And then they would say, you have jury duty and you have to come to the court and make a decision, right? And that's it. Like, no, just that one day. So, boy, you're telling me that, like, if it's a long case or something like that. Before that, it's you get the letter and you go to a pool of jurors. So there could be a hundred people in a room and you just sit there all day until a case need you so there could be days where they don't have a case that day and you go down you stay there till lunch and then you're allowed to leave early but it's usually about three days you got to be there so if you get picked for a case well then you're stuck there but if you don't get picked for a case you just stay there for three days in that room of a hundred people and what's the room like uh it's just kind of a waiting room you got a tv a vending machine and like a hundred chairs it is very boring wow and you get paid fifteen dollars a day if you get a day? Is it nothing? Fifteen. That is like criminal. Oh, I know. But they, your job. So can't what do if it. you get picked and you leave and you're like, nope, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Cool. I don't know, but that's not good. You'll probably get arrested or something. What? Oh yeah, it's a. What if you? What if someone? You have to go what there. What if you get picked and you have a reason and you're like, no, I can't. And the judge will determine if your reason's good enough. What? Like if you go there and you're saying. Look, I'm a single mom. I got to pick up my kids at 2.30. Like, I have nobody. The judge will usually grant it. They'll be like, okay. okay. Um, I mean, it is pretty reasonable. And there'll be a bunch of people who are like, oh, I guess I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, some people absolutely wow, love Wow, that's it. interesting. So you just get a bunch of people in a room and force them to do it. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> really boring. She got one television and... Oh, I never knew how that works. I guess you learn something new every day. Yeah. Last time I had to do it, I had one of the guys from church, uh, one of the Knights, uh, Knights of Columbus, so I just hung out with him all day. That was kind of fun. We walked around Providence when lunch came, and you get to, you get like an hour out. Man. Oh, God. Don't, don't get it. But if you get it, you got to go. You have to go. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coffee Milk. I'm Mark Laporte. And I'm Mitch Capallo. See you next week.